You may have watched the show last night right here on the CW. Penn and Teller Fool Us kicked off season seven with some of the best magicians trying to fool them. So let's bring in Penn Gillette this morning. First of all, good morning. Good morning to you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How did it go last night? Went very well. You know, last night was a uh, nail biter for us because we, you know, it's our seventh season. So we've had hundreds of magicians on trying to fool us. And even though only about 12% fool us, last night we had all magicians who fooled us twice before. So it was a very, very scary, scary night for us. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's tough to sit there and have the best magicians in the world come and, um, uh, try to do one trick that we get to see once and see it live and try to figure out how it's done. It's also so strange to see the show last night because we shot the whole thing, the whole season, right before the pandemic. So we have magicians from China, Japan, Spain, Italy, Brazil, all over the world coming in in a full audience and uh, audience participation and all of that that we've, uh, during the pandemic, haven't been able to see and all are hoping we'll get back to as soon as possible. What is life like right now in Vegas, Penn? I mean, I know you've been at the Rio, what, 19 years together doing shows? Yeah. Is it just eerie or sort of paint the picture from your perspective? Well, it's the, uh, you know, we are the uh, longest running headliners in Vegas history. And uh, I've been doing shows with Teller for 45 years. I've been doing shows in front of people for, uh, 52, 53 years. I mean, I've been doing this longer than you've been alive. Uh, and uh, it's very strange. You know, I've been now uh, locked down in my house with my family for uh, three months, like many people. I have been told that I have the least essential job in the country. And uh, we're just waiting, you know, for it to be safe. And how desperately I want to perform does not Trump, you know, being uh, responsible to, to keep people safe. So it's very strange, you know. Uh, you can, uh, there are times you can drive down the strip and there's there's not traffic. You know, they're opening up Vegas slowly, but they're trying to be responsible about it and there just aren't the uh, crowds we're used to. I mean, our, our whole life, you know, the Vatican, Orlando, and Vegas are all, uh, are all tourists, and uh, it's a very strange thing to get used to. But of course, I can't complain. We're suffering much less than other people. Your whole life has been, though, comedy and magic yeah. and entertaining people and making people laugh. Have you been able to laugh your way through this, or are you feeling frustrated? Well, I'm trying to do what everybody else is doing. You know, Teller and I are still working over Zoom. Uh, most every day, we've we've written several new tricks and and put them together, rehearsed them over Zoom. Uh, I'm practicing like a freak, you know. I practice my deck of cards all the time, and uh, uh, like all magicians, and you know, like uh, like many people, I'm uh, doing a lot of reading and spending time with my family. But it's uh, it's uh, certainly strange. Uh, it's a great leveler. We're all kind of in the same position. The world of magic, like right now, what makes a good magician? Well, you know, uh, it's a very special kind of empathy. You have to really be able to think the way people watching you are thinking because uh, you don't ever fool someone, they kind of fool themselves. You know, if I tell you something, you can be skeptical. If you assume something, it gets into your head before you have your defenses up. So uh, it is a, the real ability to be able to um, uh, see the trick through someone else's fresh eyes. That's the most important part of magic. Okay, you have teenagers, am I right? And I are do. And are they interested in following in your footsteps? Yes, my daughter. My daughter, Mox, is, uh, she's 15, she's turned 15, and she is uh, very into magic. She does uh, little magic tricks on TikTok, and uh, she's, uh, she's always practicing. You know, she's, uh, she's been fortunate. You know, I, I grew up in a, in a little town in Massachusetts. I didn't know anybody in magic, but she has, you know, people she considers her uncles and aunts who are professional magicians all the time that she gets to ask questions of. And uh, so she's really into and she also really shows the biggest change in magic this century, which is diversity. I mean, magic was in the 20th century a, um, a pathetic boys club. But now uh, there are a lot of girls getting into magic. And we are seeing that already happening with a lot of women coming on our show. 
Okay, the latest season of Penn and Teller Pool Us, obviously this is season seven, just kicked off last night, but what can we expect? And I have to be honest with you, watching the episode and some of the clips from it, it's almost nostalgic now. Like, I remember when we could all gather and laugh and laugh together. I, <laughs> I, I love that we're airing this and I love people can enjoy it. Yeah, and, and this, this season we come on, uh, uh, I come on as a contestant. I worked behind Teller's back, learned a trick, and we surprised him, and I went on to do Penn versus Teller, not just Penn and Teller. All right, Penn, Gillette, thank you so much for your thank time you, this morning. Thank we you. do appreciate it. We'll see you right here on the CW Monday night with Penn and Teller Fula. Have a good Thanks one. so much. Thank you, Heather. Take care.